What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of uh, Keep It Pen Fishing. I'm your host Thomas and Parker is on his way. Well, I'm at his house. He's on his way to the car soon. So we're going to go out to a little Kansas private lake out in eastern Kansas, east Topeka anyway. Um, try to catch a crappie and a bass. So I just want to catch the last bass before 2020. You know, 2019 is treating me well and one of the last bass and i think we're going to try to get a few crappie to clean today so we got all the rods rigged up well somewhat broke off from last time but um gonna be a fun day i think we've been catching a lot of crappie out there a lot of nice bass so we'll see how it, how it goes um i think we're gonna be throwing the ned rig a little bit obviously for the crappie and then we're gonna be throwing a uh, black and blue cross-sized jig by z-man uh, if you guys want to buy that stuff i can leave it in the description box below or you can just um, go to Z-Man's Fishing's website and then go to the jigs and spinners section, click jigs, and then the cross side jig section will be right there. So if you guys are wanting some of the cross side jigs, uh, you can just go there and find them. Also, I'm gonna be throwing my falcon rods today. So if you guys wanna check out the falcon rods, just go to falconrods.com. Uh, the rod is gonna be an expert series. So I can leave that in the description box too if you want. Um, you guys can private message us and we'll be glad to answer. But uh, the Falcon Expert Series is definitely a rod to check out. Really sensitive. You can cast really far with it. Uh, you know, the sensitivity on that thing is incredible. I haven't had a rod like that in a while. Um, so definitely one to check out. I'll be throwing this to 2020 season and hopefully 2030 season. So um, I don't plan on ever not throwing a Falcon Expert Series. So that thing is very sensitive and I don't know how they're going to improve it, but they always seem to find the ways to make it better but this one this year is going to be uh one hard to beat so we're going to go out there i don't like to make these videos long um but we're going to go out there on the water and when parker gets in you know we'll let you guys know how it goes from there so stay tuned Right, guys we just made it to the kansas private lake here we're unfortunately we're not at sherwood today we're at a different lake but just picked up parker and now we're here at the lake we might see our other buddy connor show up but we're going to try to catch some crappie and some bass so uh stay tuned and hopefully next clip will be hey, on the water also the 31st you know what that means new year's eve yep 2020 season 40 degrees out here in kansas and we're gonna try to catch a few bass. So we'll see you on the water. Just got here, wasn't filming, caught a little guy. Parker already caught a little guy too, but I think I should start recording that. Oh, I snagged one. Decent guy. Snagged him right on the side. I don't think we're going to do a catch and cut too cold, so. Two in a row now that we've snagged, which is kind of odd. We know there's a lot down there. We're snagging. Check it out.
car and might have to get it. Oh. This gill plate sliced my finger. <laughs> mm. Guys, look at this tank. Oh my lord. That's a nice bat or a crappie there. I to get stitches on that one. That's a real good one there. We might just have to do a catch and cook on this guy. We're gonna throw him back. Good one. It's all pound, pound and a half. That's like the fourth or fifth time today we've snagged these guys. But it's a good one anyway. The drink. Really sensitive and the castability is insane. Connor just showed up. We love to get it. Let's go catch some more bass, crappie. Right. Haven't got any bass yet. A lot of crappie. Let's go. Parker just hooked up. Nice one. Nice little bass. Just caught him on the TRD. snagged a giant shad. That thing is massive. <laughs> what the Dude. hell? That's Hot snakes one. TRD. <laughs> that is huge. I thought it was a white bass for a second. He had a little stripe on him and I was like, what? Dude. I don't even want to touch him. Big old shad. Stud. I'm a puzzle. I'm a walking contradiction. There's pieces I can't find. Sometimes trouble. I can't cope with the addiction. It's a rod. It's a rod. I know. Worst fish landing ever, but I just got a decent bass. Probably last bass in 2019, so. That red mouth. Another feeding on crawfish. Not a bad one. Nice little gut on him. Right, guys so today we're wrapping it up um, we caught a lot of crappie two bass Parker caught one and I just caught one um, caught a shad and that's about it for the fish catches uh, we were catching them towards the end on the Z-Man fishing products big TRD paired with the finesse rooms 1 10th ounce um, we were catching them at the beginning on some crappie jigs I think it was a top secret brand uh, made here in Topeka but they kind of slowed down a little bit and the wind picked up but now it's kind of slowing down so i don't know if it's going to pick back up or not so this may be the end of the video 
but if you guys want to check out any of the gear we were using, like my Falcon rod here or any of this TRD, uh, you guys can look in the description box below and uh, you can see it in there. Guys, so today we just threw a little Ned rig. Uh, this is the big TRD and a 1 10th ounce shroom head here made by Z-Man. And uh, I know some of you guys want to know like how to rig a Ned rig if you're new to fishing or if you're a kid trying to learn. Uh, or just an adult wanting to join a bass club, but I'm gonna show you how to tie a Palomar knot and how to rig a Ned rig the you know easier way. I mean, there's, it's really simple anyway. So um, first, you'll start out with your fluorocarbon. I use 10 pound. I should probably use a little bigger to show you guys so it's easier to see. But this is what I was using today, 10 pound. So you'll go through here on the eyelet about that far. I'd say eight inches or so. Then you'll come right back through that same eye and then you'll have your line threading right on there. So you have two line, in, you have two pieces of line in there. Then you'll do a single little loop like that, pinch it, take this little tag in and throw it underneath this ring here. So I'm gonna put it under that ring. Hmm. Once you get that through there, don't pull that tight. Leave that like, leave that little hole right there. You're gonna take that tag in, put the hook through it, and once you go through it, you're pretty much done. You can cinch it. But I always like to wet it, because if you wet it, it doesn't make the fluorocarbon burn when it cinches down. So now I'm just trying to find both tag ends. And then wet it, cinch it down, and now you're ready. You just, the video ended there, sorry. But uh, after you tie the knot, you're gonna cut that tag in, and then you're gonna take your big TRD or Ned Rig, Zinc or Z, whatever you're gonna use, and uh, thread it right down the center there and you're gonna throw it thread it on there until you feel the hooks right about here but I say I'd say that's probably good enough and then once you pop it through you just thread it up and now it won't come down because of that barb hanging on it and that's how you rig it um, you know the Z-Man just came out with the new pro shrooms which are a little bit longer they come down about here which is perfect for the big TRD these hooks here are perfect for the finesse TRD, but since I didn't have any with me today, this is what I was using and they were still biting it and still catching some fish on it. So if you guys have any questions on how to rig anything or uh, what kind of gear we were using today, just let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you or follow our Instagram, which we'll put at the end of the video. Uh, DM us, Snapchat us, whatever you guys want to do and we'll be sure to answer your questions. All right guys, we just got off the water. We're now in the Jeep, about to head home. Uh, I think we already discussed on what we caught, but another recap we did, uh, we caught a few crappie, one big shad, two bass, and we both uh, caught our last bass of 2019, most likely. Um, it's New Year's Eve, and it's about, what, 3.30, 4 o'clock? 4 o'clock, almost. So, time to be done for the year anyway, and we'll probably be fishing tomorrow, most likely, <laughs> trying to catch the first bass of 2020. Um, anything you want to add? Mm -mm, other than the fishing was, I think it's been a lot slower than it usually been on the point because of a cold front that came through. Because I think when we were catching them last time out here, it was like high 40s, 50s, and tomorrow it's supposed to be like 55, which is weird. So I think definitely if we come out tomorrow, we get a lot more fish uh, catches on video. It's kind of hard because we don't have a lot of camera equipment to know when the GoPro is to film every fish catch, but we try our best. Um, so hopefully, and also it's really cold out and your phones die quick when it's this cold out. So it's kind of hard, kind of got to work with what we got and our battery life goes down quick when it's this cold. So we kind of have to watch for that. But um, yeah, tomorrow's supposed to be 55. So I th I'm sure we'll probably be somewhere fishing. And then uh, I think in a couple weeks we have our next uh, hot water series tournament, which we'll film that again. Like that last one video we just uploaded, it was a hot water tournament it was 30 something minutes long i don't know if you guys like that or not but <laughs> let us know in the comments and we can make another one just like it if not better so i think we've had a good 2019 season so far this year i know he did pretty good in the high school series so far and uh i didn't have any college tournaments and other than in april we had that you know college uh state championship whatever but um overall it was a good year uh, we both finished pretty good and both of our clubs we do and yeah. we're just hoping for the same results in 2020 or better and we're definitely doing i think we've learned a lot fishing together because we half the guys we fished against in that hot water series are 
a lot of them guys fish BFL at, like opens and stuff, so it's definitely a challenge. But like I told him, I said I kind of like fishing against guys like that. It's kind of it's kind of fun having someone you know a lot of challenge and people to fish against and. It's always, I think it's always a good thing to get your, you know, your head bashed in a few times. Uh, makes you a little bit better with fishing. But, uh, yeah, I've had a good high school season. Hopefully the next two tournaments we can uh, finish top five or top ten. I think we're just in the cut for the championship. So hopefully we can keep maintaining points and hopefully make it to nationals this year for my last senior year of high school fishing. And if you guys want to see any more content, let us know what you guys want to see, whether that's catch and cooks, bass fishing videos, which we're going to keep you know keep them coming but if you guys like crappie videos like we're doing now or uh spillways like we're about to release um let us know because we, we're trying to get more content for 2020 and we just want to you know try to grow our platform here a little bit um i think we're only sitting at like 80 subscribers or so but you know that's that's how you start so we're just going to try to keep videos coming for 2020 i know we took like a year off but we're going to try to get back in it and happy new year's to everyone out there and we'll see you again on the water I'm